Is Angelique Merrick deceased or is she here being hidden by you and your staff? I'm not obligated to discuss any of my patients with you. Nor have you the right to interrogate me. There is such a thing as doctor-patient confidentiality. Yes, but doctor, that no longer applies if the patient is deceased. So are we to infer that Angelique Merrick is not dead? <sighs> I have no more time for this nonsense. I have patients to attend. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I think we've taken the direct approach about as far as we can. What are you now, let's talking shift about? Gears. He's panicked. He's sweating. It's absolute proof to me that Angelique is in this hospital and she's still alive. Yes, you are right. There is an Angelique here. Dimitri, don't open that door. Well, this room is empty, isn't it? I said don't. Why, Helga? Why? Hey, no hard feelings, huh? Forget about uh, Brooke and Jack. This trip's no big deal. I'll be the judge of that. Trevor, exactly what are they after in Vienna? They've gone halfway around the world to try to dig up dirt on my fiancé. Dirt? What kind of dirt? Hey, like... Mimi said, I'm not the Vienna party planner. Hey, why don't you ask them when they come back? Well, whatever it was, it certainly must be very, very juicy to send them racing halfway around the world. Now, what is it they are after in Vienna? In Vienna? Well, my guess would be uh, pastry. Yeah, decadent cream-filled pastry. Uh, Erica, I'm going your way. Can Speaking I of which, I would love some rich coffee. You know, that, that, that gourmet kind they have down at the serving spoon? Yeah, that and a Napoleon. That's the ticket. Give up that working class donut and go rich, huh? You know. Huh? You know exactly what Jack and Brooke are looking for, don't you? Come on, Matt. Don't you? never locked. Are you sure it's locked? Maybe it's just stuck. It just makes no sense. How can the nurses get to the patients if the door is locked? Well, why would a patient be locked in anyway? Yeah, especially a comatose patient. Well, we don't know that that's the case. Where are the keys kept? I have no idea. These, these rooms were never locked. Well, somebody must have a key. Only Dr. Zenf would have authorized it. Well, then we'll have to find Dr. Zenf and ask him a few more questions, won't we? My questions take precedence, Miss English. For instance, what are you doing in this wing? Why is this door locked? Isn't it obvious to keep you and your friend out? Why would you want to keep us out? Aside from medical ethics. I learned of your true reputation only a few minutes ago, Miss English. You are a journalist who would do anything for a story. Up to and including trespassing on private property and violating the privacy of my patients. What are you hiding? You and your friend will leave this premises immediately or I will have the police remove you. I came to see Angelique Merrick and I'm not leaving and until I do that. Well, you'll have an exceedingly long wait. Angelique Marek is dead. Then who's in that room and why is the door locked? I will not allow you to further harass my patients or to interfere with the running of this hospital. I'm not harassing anyone and I'm not interfering with anything. I'm asking you a simple question. Where is Angelique Merrick? If you persist in this sick fantasy, I will have to call the police. I will not allow my patients to be subjected to the erratic intrusions of an unbalanced journalist. I wonder if your patients know exactly what kind of a doctor they have. One who will protect them at all costs. I uh, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Zenf. Jack. Uh, if you decide to answer our questions, and we hope you do, give us a call. We're at the Hotel Schiller. Come on, dear.
bit about in your shoes. I feel, look, I feel sorry for her, but I'm sure she's been around here long enough to learn how to survive in this Well, place. I am going to find out what's going on in that room. Why are you moving Angelique's things back in, Helga? I thought you understood why I wanted this room cleared out. I would like to explain. Yeah, then, then do, please. I mean no offense. I have no wish to hurt Natalie. Yes? But this room, Angelique's things, it's all I have left of my daughter. When I found every trace of her was being taken away, scattered, lost. I'm sorry, Dimitri. I couldn't bear that to happen. I understand that this is difficult for you. But there is nothing either one of us could do to change what happened. Now, you cannot keep living in the past. You have to move into the present to start our futures. You can do that, Dimitri. You have a future with Natalie. For you, moving forward is right. For you, too. It's different with me. Angelique was born in this room. This is where all her things were. When I came in and found it empty, do you know what that did to me? It was like losing her all over again. Worse, it was as if she never existed at all. I'm sorry, Helga. The things that were left, the little things, the, the memories, the feelings still live here. It's all I have. I need those things, Dimitri. Please let me keep them to remember my beautiful Angelique. Please let me keep this room as it was. It's not healthy. A mother's memories. How can a mother's memories be unhealthy? I can take care of this room, Dimitri. No one ever needs to know about it or come into it but me. I'm being practical. Why? It's a very large house. It's just a little room tucked away. Natalie doesn't even need to know I brought my mementos back. How can that hurt anyone? Dimitri. I will serve you and Natalie all my life. I will do anything you ask. But just do this one thing for me. Let me have my memories. Olga, I worry for you. I will never mention Angelique. I will never talk about the past. Wouldn't it be better if you moved on as I have? How can a mother move on from her memories of her child? No matter how many years go by, the memory of her child she will carry always in her heart. And now, here in this room, surrounded by her things, I just feel I can touch her, hear her laughter. Please, Dimitri, indulge the old woman who raised you. I need the comfort of this room. Especially now when that Brooke Englishwoman is in Vienna asking questions, prying into my personal life. What? Dredging up the past, asking about Angelique. The pain is awakened again. The loss is still fresh. Brooke English is in Vienna? Yes. With that lawyer, Jackson Montgomery. Didn't Natalie tell you? You know what Jack and Brooke are looking for. Please tell me. Well, I certainly wouldn't put anything past Dimitri. Perhaps he is a former KGB agent. Does he launder money? Perhaps he's head of the black market in Russia? Or maybe, for that matter, maybe, for that matter, they are being filled in on all of his devious takeover tactics. Maybe some unsuspecting cosmetics firm in Austria. For example. Yeah, Erica, I think it's time to move on. No, Trevor, no, not now. I will not be hustled out of here, not when we're getting to the heart of the matter. There is no heart in this matter. Trevor, please, I would like to know what's happening in Vienna. Thanks for helping me with Janet. You're welcome. Come on, I'll, I'll walk out with you. No, I don't need an escort. Natalie, one thing is for sure. I will never allow Dimitri Merrick to get near my company. And you certainly have terrible judgment. I beg your pardon? You would ruin enchantment the same way you're ruining your own personal life. It's just amazing. Can you imagine choosing a devious and ruthless man like Dimitri Marek when you could have had a prince? 
like Trevor. Unbelievable. Well, Erica, she certainly does speak her mind, doesn't she? As if anyone cares. Well, whatever. Certainly makes life interesting. What are Jack and Brooke up to in Vienna? Who knows? Look, I understand that you tried to stop them from going, and I'm not blaming you, but please tell me what it is they're looking for. You must have some idea. No. Nope. I need to know, Trevor. I have to tell Dimitri. Well, like I said, maybe they needed to satisfy a pastry. Oh, Trevor, please! What's the big deal? Why do you get so crazy over it? Really? Well, it is. All the doors are closing. No one will accept Dimitri. What? What are you saying there? How do you think it feels to have the town turn against him? My friends hate him, suspect him, persecute him. Oh, nah. It, it's not that bad. Well, I really don't care about Erica, but... You know, Brooke has been downright hostile to him, and Donna, my best friend, won't even come to the ball, and it makes me feel... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? <clears throat> well, I didn't mean to get off on my little social problems. You don't want to hear about that. No, no, it's okay. No, it's not okay. I've been acting like a, a stupid, empty-headed... Come off it. Well, one thing's for sure. Erica was right. You're a prince. The view is like no other in the city, especially at night. Uh, indeed it is. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. We should have gone straight to the police. Why are we here? Because this is where we should be, Brooke. No! Jack, the trail is getting cold, all right? If we don't go back to the clinic, Zent is going to have time to move Angelique. And you're positive that it is Angelique behind yes, the door? Yes, of course I am. The fact that the door was locked is proof. Proof? A coma patient does not need to be locked in their room unless there's something fishy going along, on. But are we going to see it? Oh, no, we're not going to see it. Zenf is on to us, and any advantage that we had is gone. Well, that's not my fault. Well, if we had gone straight to the police and not come here first... We would have been here ten minutes earlier, that's all. We have no hard evidence to give the police, Brooke. We could have explained it no, to them. No, all we could have done is badmouth an internationally renowned doctor. That's it. They would have thrown us right out of there. Or worse yet, they would have arrested us for slander. I'll tell you what, why, why... Why don't you go in and dry yourself a hot bath? I'll order some room service, and then after that, we can collect ourselves and sit down and clearly think about a plan, okay? Okay. I guess I'm just very tired. I can't even think straight. I'm also very hungry. Uh, sure, that's jet lag. I'm sure I'll be better once I've had a hot bath and once you order a wonderful meal. Which I will take care of right now for you, madam. Room service, please. Yes, this is Jax Montgomery. We'd like... You're not going anywhere. 